Hey guys, welcome back to another week interview here at Pop Culture. My name is Andy. This gentleman here is Josh. He's back this week, yeah, and uh, this week. of course we've got the anchor hosting as well. <laughs> um, what's a week interview, you might ask? Well, chances are you tuned in before, but if you haven't, Josh, if you haven't tuned in before, what's the deal? Yeah, yeah. We can review basically everything that's coming to the warehouse that week. It might have been the week before, also depending on how organised we are. Uh, we kind of just get it on table. We talk about it. Yeah. You guys ask some questions. Uh, we give away some prizes. We do give away prizes, don't we? We do give away My prizes. My goodness, we give away prizes. Yes, and if you want to win a prize, all you need to do is go into the running. All you need to do to go into the running is just leave a comment on the feed you are watching. Uh, Preferably a question. Could be a question, could be a comment, could be just, you know, but cool, more like cool fact of the day. Um, Luke is monitoring the feed very vigilantly. He's already jotting names on the wheel. Uh, so he'll be writing names on the wheel for people who have commented. Uh, at the end of the episode, we'll spin that wheel. Um, people will win prizes. It's going to be a fun, fun affair. Yeah, so should we know what they are? Bianca, we should. So, one of the prizes is the stitch on the People Mover ride, which is pretty cute. I don't know about worst, People Mover. Could worst be a ride. ride <laughs> Disneyland. Worst ride. It's, um... Is it just monorail? It, it kind of, well, it's like, it's it's there, and it slowly just guides you along the track. I always um, thought it seemed like a train, but just branded as a people mover or something. I don't really understand. It, it. seems the least exciting Stitch exclusive I think I've ever had. Only because he's just standing there on a people mover. But he's, he's not having fun. He's, he's still also Stitch. Not, he's he's also not a person. Cute. That's true. He's not a person. They thought he was a dog. Have there actually been a dog been on the people mover? No. No. Uh, so it's just speculation. Could <laughs> be the greatest ride ever. Yeah. Well, you have to know. No, because then it'd be called like Space Mountain or like <laughs> you know, Piper X. Yeah, <laughs> the Haunted Mansion. Like there's cool things there, yeah. right? Like Haunted yeah, Mansion. Yeah, there are parts of the Caribbean. People mover. Yeah. It sounds like what you. It sounds like you'd go to the car park, park in the car park. It is. Get the people mover. It's the free ride park. outside the gates. <laughs> it's, the, it's the shuttle bus. The shuttle bus. <laughs> um, so yeah, we got the stitch on people mover. Great product. You're gonna want to win it. Um, and we have the um, Blue's Clues blue backpack as well, which I think Josh would do, just because it's like a dog, that, yeah. and it's, it's also And that show had such a great premise. It was about a hound dog sniffing out clues and stuff. Yeah. Josh, do you want to let everyone know that you discovered this species of the beagle that you thought you bought that isn't a beagle? Don't want to get into it. You don't really want to get into no, it? Anyway, uh, we'll have another prize in the way with Wild. Same as last week, we're just going to pick something from the tapes. Pick from this cool table of stuff. Uh, topic of the week as well in the yeah. comments. I like to do a topic of the week so I can learn some stuff. Um, it is cartoon <laughs> conspiracy theories. I want to know. Throw me, Josh. I want to know what conspiracy theories you have from cartoons, and uh, I'd like to know why you have those as well. That's the topic of the week. And if you if you contribute to the topic of the week, you're more likely to win a prize. It is prize. And again, guys, if you just tuned in, we're giving away prizes. Leave a comment on the feed to go into the running. And we're going to get stuck into some awesome stuff that has just landed. Heaps of Hasbro, heaps of Super 7, heaps of Lounge Flag. This is a great table. table. I'm really it's excited about this table. table. I don't know where to start. I don't know either. There's so much cool stuff. Why don't we start with Funko and then we can kind of, yeah, get, get on to some other stuff. All right. From Funko, uh, let's start with our Funko Shop exclusives. From Shits Creek, we have Moira Rose. Um, I can't see what she's doing. I can't see what she's wearing. She's wearing a trash bag, I think. She's wearing a trash yeah, bag. Yeah, trash bag That's dress. really, it's riches to rags. Um, and we also have the prize that we're giving away, the Stitch on People Mover. If you know what the People Mover is, let us know in the comments because we definitely don't know what the People Mover is. What's cool about that is it's actually part of a set, so there's a few... Um, you can link them together. Yeah, right? you link them yeah. together. So they've done it before where they've done like a Nightmare Before Christmas train and stuff, but they always come out super cool when you do have the full set, definitely an out-of-box pop. So we have the other three in this line as well. We do have Mickey, Minnie and uh, Pluto, so we do get all four. Well, only in pop culture, really, because we're the only ones who stitch in Australia. It, is, so. really is, it really is a net pop culture. Um, from the Hawkeye TV show, we have Kate Bishop, Clint Barton, Yelena, Hawkeye, and Kate Bishop with the pizza dog, my personal favourite. Lucky, lucky the pizza dog. I like pizza you and dogs. I like dogs. Yeah. Yeah. That's like have, you watched, have you watched Hawkeye? Nah. It's from Disney Plus. From Disney Plus? The so. The great Can guys. Sponsor? I don't. I can't believe that the great guys over at Disney Plus would put out another awesome show. No, I, I'm going to tell you. I'm, Disney Plus is dead to me. <laughs> Why? It's not working on my TV anymore. Okay, well, just oh. just having a Chromecast of like a peasant. Oh yeah. god. Just be no. careful because so without Disney Plus, we're not doing. <laughs> Where would we be? Wouldn't we? We're no. not doing the show. No. 
So yeah. that yeah. sounds more like a hardware fault. Yeah, yeah. what's wrong um, with your TV? No, 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 it's no, 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 no. It's not as the no, no, no. All other apps are working. I never had a problem. Did you update that? No, I didn't do a thing. All I know is Disney Plus. I'm done. Well, I've personally never had a problem. Never done Disney Plus. It's actually the independent time. Yeah, I actually use it because it's way faster. And he expresses his own opinions and. And um, they are not the express. I, 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 I also represent so. pop culture in all the sense. <laughs> <laughs> his opinions are his own, but they're also wrong. So, um, moving on, we have the uh, Eastman and La. Is that it? Exactly. Hey, Laird. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle line. Um, it's the original got, Ninja Turtles. From it's Kong. the original Ninja Turtles. We've got Shredder, Casey Jones, Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael. L and Michelangelo, and they all have red eye bands. Why is that, Andy? Why do they all have red eye bands? It wasn't until the 1987 series and the accompanying Playmates action figures that they were actually assigned a colour to differentiate from Josh. Agreed to disagree. They had red because the cartoonist ran out of coloured pencils. Um, we have some more pops from What If as well. We've got the Frost Giant Loki, Gamora, Daughter of Thanos. Um, who's that? Queen, General, Ramonda. And Infinity Kelmonger. Can you see it, Blake? Yeah. Has anybody actually watched What If? Yeah, watched What If. Yeah. Yeah. Bianca, yeah. yeah. what happens in What If? Well, a lot of things happen in What If because yeah, every, every episode is a different theme. It's like Monster of the Week. It is like yeah. Monster of the Week. Brought yeah. to you by Disney Plus. <laughs> it's good. It's good. <laughs> Um, still on Pops, we got some uh, comic book covers. This is a new thing that Funko's doing, kind of similar to the album covers, but it's a comic book cover. So we have uh, the Vision and the Scarlet Witch with a Scarlet Witch pop. We have the Avengers with the Vision. I think that's the introduction of the character, right? It's Red Vision. Yeah. Red Vision, it's the introduction. And we have Wonder Woman, an 80th anniversary one from a Wonder Woman comic that was from DC Universe Rebirth. So I think that's her born again. Um, Couple of two packs. We have Lil Sebastian and Jerry Gooch. Jerry, Jerry, Terry, Larry, Jerry, Gary. Um, and then we have the WWE two pack D Generation X Triple H and Shawn Michaels Heartbreak Kid. He used to do kicks to the jaw. He did. Yeah, as a sweet sweet chin, sweet chin, 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 chin music. music. Mm -hmm. Triple H was good as well. He's bald now. Yeah, he, he is bald. He is bald. Shane's also, also very rich. <laughs> Yeah, he does have a beard. He's like Batista. Those guys are cool. Um, and then we have an Iron Maiden, a uh, little bit of a throwback to when they were performing for the people building the pyramids. Um, and that is Iron Maiden Power Slave. That's yeah, spot on, John. Yeah, historically uh, accurate. Some sodas, John. Some, some sodas. sodas. We're always we're always excited about the sodas because we all think sodas are great, like Disney Plus. Um, and to kind of interlude that, we have a Agatha Harkness uh, soda to start with from, is it from WandaVision? Yeah. It's from WandaVision? Look at, look at this. Look at me go. From Disney Plus. Yeah, from Disney Plus. <laughs> uh, we have Vince Clawthord. Claw, Clawthord? Yep. Clawthord? From Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Yep. Um, it's got a pizza there. Is it from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? No, it's from Ghostbusters. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Silent Bob from uh, still. Jay and Silent <laughs> Bob. <laughs> Uh, we have the Yogi Bear, which is actually, we, we opened it up with the chase. So all vinyl sodas kind of come with uh, the chance of a chase. Of a chase. Uh, I think they're all pretty much one and six. Uh, like here, the chase was a flocked um, Yogi. Yogi Bear, um, not to be confused with Loki Bear. Um, and from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, we have Oompa Loompa, uh, not to be confused with Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, where Johnny Depp was Willy Wonka and... He was a dentist's kid, right? And he went to the Amazon rainforest. Yep. Yeah. And then he found the Oompa Loompas. He did. He yeah. found the Oompa Loompas. And then he kind of oh, enslaved right. them. Nathan, if you're enjoying your work today, Josh. Thanks, Nathan. I enjoy your work as well in the comments. Let me know of any cartoon conspiracy theories that you know. No, no. <laughs> as much as I dislike Tim Burton's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, one of my all-time favourite on-screen gags is from that, where he goes, uh, he says... When you, if you ever come back, I won't be here. His father's telling this to, to Willy Wonka. And uh, he goes back home and the whole building's gone. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's the only part of the movie I like. 
I like all of that movie. Yeah, but I'm, I'm a bit biased. Well. Mm. I think it's a good movie. Mm. It is good. It was a point where Tim Burton was just making Tim Burton for the sake of making Tim Burton, you know? No, he, he's... Have you not seen it? Where they, everybody I've goes crazy it. for the chocolate bars. There's like Tokyo, Berlin, everyone's getting the chocolate bars. So they were for his first movie as well. What you, no, but the first movie was like, everybody was poor. <laughs> Charlie was poor. Everyone else was yeah, actually. Yeah, I mean, the first movie was made at that like weird point of making movies in the seventies where they had color, which was like unnatural. It was, and it's like it's scary because of when it, the the was in the first one was scary. They're not pleasant to look at at all, and when they did the songs, it was unsettling, like Nightmare Before Christmas. See, I feel that way about Tim Burton's Unplugged. I think theirs are scary. Yeah, the These are bright actor. and colourful. They're a bit more fun. There was some variation in height, in voice. It's just one guy. In, uh, <laughs> it's a bunch of clone one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's all really good choreography as well. Did you see the, see the one where they did the, um, the squirrels thing? Yeah. Where the, yeah, I don't know. I liked it. I liked the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory one. It's way better than the 70s one. Okay. You just like the 70s one because it's a lot of pastel colours. It's like, look, orange, green. What did you say? <laughs> Well, um, anyway, 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 we got some golds as well. We right? got some golds. We got uh, John Moran from the Memphis Grizzlies, Zion Williamson from the uh, New Orleans, uh, Nikola Jokic from Denver Nuggets. Uh, we got a Steph Curry, a LeBron James, and a Trey Young as well. So we kind of got another line of that, um, those basketball uh, vinyl golds. So if you want to pick those up, we do have a pretty good range on the website. We, do. we also have some NFL ones and some music ones as well, basketballs. Not your jam. Um, pick up John Morant because he is on fire at the moment. Hey, John, uh, speaking of sport. Speaking of sport, we got in some trading cards. We haven't got them on the website as of yet. Oh, I think uh, they might be going up. Going up. Ne- nearish to now. Yeah, yeah, but we thought we'd put them on the show to give you guys a pretty good chance. Yeah, keep keep watching them. the website this evening, guys. Because um, Cause these are going to sell. These yeah. are going to go really quickly. Uh, we've got the um, NBA Recon, um, kind of the tempact box. Uh, Looks like that. It's pretty sweet. Um, comes with two autographs or twenty inserts and twenty inserts or parallels per box on average. Uh, we have the NBL optic, uh, Don Ross ones as well. So you kind of know the drill with those. Um, some Chronicles baseball as well. If the Don Ross optics aren't your thing, um, we also have some blaster boxes. Um, we've got a. There's actually this is full of blaster boxes. We just didn't take it out. Um, <laughs> the Absolute Football, and we also have the Origins as well. So if you're interested in sports cards, get in quickly because these are not going to last long. Certainly not. Certainly not. Certainly not going to last long. But no, I wanted to give you guys the heads up. Yes, sir. From me. From and he didn't want to do it. He was like, make them wait like everybody. And I said, no, mate, no. They, they pay our wages. So we got them out. Thanks for the wages, guys. Um, <laughs> Uh, whilst we're whilst we're down here, we may as well talk about some lounge flight. Yeah. I'm excited to talk about some lounge flight. Um, so if you're just tuning in, I may as well start with one of our prizes for this week. Um, so this is part of the new Blues Clues collection that's just come out. So we're giving away one of these backpacks of blue. It is so so cute. It's even got your first clue on the back. What there. is it? What's the clue? It, it's a paw print. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of dog is that? I think um, Blue's meant to be a blue healer. I think. I'm not 100% sure on that though. I think it's a bluey. True. That's probably what I'm I think that's a blue healer. Beagle? I think it's, um, it looks a bit beagle-y. Yeah. <laughs> Could be a beagle, but beagles, a beagle wouldn't listen. I don't think you know what a beagle is though. He doesn't because he bought one and he didn't get one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, just bought, I just bought dog. <laughs> I didn't specifically buy a beagle. You did. You specifically bought a beagle. The answer yeah. beagle, and you bought it. I don't it think it's, 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 it's Amy it's said it. you can have something that's as big as a beagle. So you went so, bought a beagle. Then you got the biggest dog anyone's ever seen. It's not that big. It's like forty kilos. It's mm. like two weeks old. That's <laughs> <laughs> anyway, blues anyway. Blues. Yeah. So, blue, cute little dog, uh, sort of know what breed she is, and also, also, in this collection comes with the handy dandy notebook as a matching wallet, which I think is a really, really cool little yeah, touch. Cool. And it's got blue on the back as well. And it's also featured as the um, enamel zipper charm on the bag also. 
So I think this is a really, really cute collection. So I'm pretty excited about that one. Um, and we've also got this um, US retailer exclusive. Um, so this is based on Captain America's outfit from the Infinity Saga. So it is which pretty film, cool. Which film? Looks like Endgame. Is it Endgame? I'm not sure which um, specifically which one it's from, but they've just marketed it as the Infinity Saga. It's probably Civil bag. War. Captain America's Civil War. That's in the Infinity Saga. Well done, Josh. Thanks. Good job. <laughs> um, but this bag is pretty cool, and what I really like about it is that there's so much applique to bring everything forward, and there's like so much texture, like. The pockets and the straps are, um, are really soft and fun to touch. Um, and of course, it's modeled after his costume. It looks amazing. Um, so we've got that one in stock now. Um, I'm also really, really excited about these Princess Cake collections that we've just gotten in. So Lounge Guy have started stylizing Disney princesses as cakes. And they are very cute and very delicious looking. Um, <laughs> well, I think they're like absolutely scrumptious. What flavour would that cake be? That would be a, probably blueberry flavour, but like not blueberry lumps in it. Like they've blended the blueberries in with the flour. It looks like a sponge. I feel it's like sponge. blueberries <laughs> might suit Snow White more because she makes gooseberry pies. Gooseberry? So I feel like she'd be into berries and apples. Blueberries whereas this would be like ones. much more flowery because there's, there's flowers. Yeah, it is tangled. Say, I was going to say like lavender, but that would be disgusting. A lavender cake would be disgusting. It might be alright for some people. What do you mean? It tastes fine. It mm. tastes disgusting. <laughs> anyway, well, this is... Don't eat the Rapunzel cake then. <laughs> okay. Just yeah, admire it. Cake. Just admire it. It's also got um, a little um, enamel super charm of Pascal, which is really cool. And he's featured on the matching card holder, just like hanging out in the cake and stuff. Are they going to make one of these for every princess so then you can make a full cake? I suppose we'll I, the right side I was life. saying the other day what? they should do that. <laughs> I'm hoping they do that because it would look amazing all together. But I feel like there's a good chance because they've already stylized a bunch of um, Disney princesses as cakes um, as part of um, a backpack that came out earlier. You can find it on our website. So I think they're going to do them all individually. But let's move away from Lounge Fire for a second because we've got oh, Handsome Will on the Oh my Speaking goodness, it's Handsome Will! Speaking of sweet treats. Oh. Oh. Yeah, guys, as per every week, <laughs> I've grabbed a handful of records that have recently gone up on the website and I'm here to talk about them. Starting this off this week, um, it's a bit of a banger, something that I think Andy's going to have a few words to say about, Balan Sebastian's sophomore album. He doesn't have anything to say. About I have plenty that. of things to say about this album. I like it, for one. <laughs> Number two, it's on transparent red vinyl. Number three, I own it but have yet to listen to it. Um, and number four, this album is constantly on the 500 greatest album list in Rolling Stone magazine of all time. Like, 500? Just, like, well, there's top 500 albums of all time. 500 Think about albums. how many websites we have on our, uh, uh, albums we have on our website alone. Yeah, pretty okay. lot. 500? Oh, thousands, we have yeah. thousands. Yeah, yeah, so, like for this to be one of the thousands. best of all time, uh, it's a good album. I recommend listening to this album. I saw Bell and Sebastian once, and I got up on stage and I danced with them, and they gave me a medal, and that was a pretty great What? <laughs> Yeah. Is that real? <laughs> no, yeah, it, it says I made real. it with Bell and Sebastian. This is it's a true story. Real. What? It's not. That's it's incredible. Not can you, do you still have it? Yeah. Can bring, you bring it in for next week's show? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Awesome. I can. Anyway, uh, if you're feeling sinister, go off and see the minister. Did that's, you, that's a good album. Who, dan who did you dance with, Bell or Sebastian? It's, it's just the name of the band. <laughs> you're an idiot. <laughs> 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 Alright. Um, come out next. Animal and the Sniffers, Comfort to Me, released um, just recently last year. This is Animal and the Sniffers, I think, second album. Um, now they've had their debut, they've had a couple EPs in there as well, but these guys are from Melbourne. They're uh, pretty hard rock, pretty Australian. Um, they've got a lot of energy going on, and they recently supported Food Fighters at the gig in Geelong. Um, last so, week! Oh yeah. my goodness! Wasn't Played a few while, songs right? off this one. Um, but yeah, if you feel like checking them out, pick it up. Next up, King Gizzard and Lizard Wizard, Butterfly 3001. So uh, last year, King Gizzard released Butterfly 3000, an exploration into electronic music. And now, as it was, it sort of makes sense for electronic music to get remixed over rock music. Um, that electronic album has been remixed by a variety of artists. Um, some really cool, interesting remixes in here. 
um, notably DJ Shadows, which I really like. Um, he's a pretty sick remixer, but comes in a little cardboard outer and then a really nice cover DJ sleeve on the inside. Shit, any? Next up, King Cruel to Heat Me Up, You Cool Me Down. Um, this was recorded just before we went into lockdown. A bunch of songs from a few of his live shows um, from his first couple of albums. But yeah, it's just a really cool King Cruel performance where he performs some of his best songs quite well, I might add. Next up, Alabama Shakes, Sound and Colour. Um, this is a deluxe 2 LP version of their Grammy, or four times Grammy winning album. It's basically their debut album and it features a lot of blues and soul music. Um, what very flavor is Alabama? <laughs> is it it'd be, it'd be um, Sweet Alabama. Bitter Alabama. Biscuits and gravy. Like that's the flavor of the shake. That's yeah. the flavor of the shake. Yeah, oh no, it'd be, it'd be, have you seen that video on YouTube with that company that makes the, they put no a one slice, of, <laughs> slice of chocolate cake and a milkshake? That's it? That's, that's the it. Alabama shake? Yeah, yeah, that's the Alabama shake. It's so special. Or shrimp. <laughs> Next up, Typo Native, um, Slow, Deep and Hard. This is one of their albums released later in their career where they made a bit of a switch from doom metal to sort of goth rock. Um, it's pressed on a really cool... Sorry, well, you're going to have to explain the difference between us two genres. <laughs> I can tell you, because if it's, uh, if it's metal, it's a really broad genre to me. And um, everything metal just sort of slides. Rock. I like it no matter what yeah. it is. <laughs> Everything can sort of fit under that one title, but there are people out there who can definitely identify the difference. Um, and this was a yeah, a bit of a change in their sound. Um, I'm actually holding this the wrong way, um, but it features a really nice green with black splatter vinyl that I thought was really cool. Um, but yeah, pretty big how, album for those. How guys. are you holding it any different to like well, that's stick the stickers sticker, up right? yeah, oh, and then like it slides out of the sides? So. It's the spine. You can tell from the spine, and also the barcode. There's no barcode. But there's, anyway, that's the right thing. <laughs> Next up, Flying Lotus, Marta Vale Session. Um, this is a, a EP that I really enjoy. Um, Flying Lotus performs four different tracks, a couple of them with Thundercat. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool little session that they sort of did in this WXAXRXP, which is 30 Years of Warp records, where they got a bunch of artists to record live sessions and release those live sessions. Um, but yeah, this is one of them and it's pretty sick. Next up, Yes Lord Remixes. Um, so basically for this album, it's a Anderson Pack and Knowledge collaboration uh, that was really popular. So Knowledge went back and he remixed his own songs, basically re-releasing the entire album with a whole new sort of feel. Um, so there's some really sick songs in here, some really cool remixes, which I think actually outshine the originals in some cases. But um, yeah, really cool remix album. Cheers, Eddie. Next up, Mirrors by DJ Seinfeld. This one came out just recently last year. This is on yellow and pink vinyl um, as a pretty thematic colours for the album. But it's a DJ or sort of a dance music album um, with a lot of... He's sort of known for his lo-fi house. He sort of coined that genre um, and he was at the forefront of it back in the day. But he's moved towards just your standard house music now. Um, but yeah, he's released a really cool album and it's been quite popular. I think he might be... This week, and he actually might be the grandkids right now. Um, a lot of words I didn't understand. <laughs> a lot of mites. There's a there's a uh, festival up in the grandkids this weekend. I'm pretty sure he's out actually. No, I'm not. Sister is that? You want to see little sister? <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in a crowd of thousands of people. Um, it's a big commitment. It's just like four days of being at a festival around people. Yeah, you're still a young world. You could go. I could go. But I chose not to. Chose not to. Just leave it at that, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> Stop the, pushing it, okay? <laughs> the artists <laughs> finish at like 7am. It's be... like market research. <laughs> no, we're not getting any of those records. <laughs> um, next up, Feed Me Weird Things, an album by Square Pusher that I really enjoy. I think this album outshines the rest of his discography, my opinion. Um, it's a 25th anniversary edition. It's his debut album. It's on two LPs and a 10-inch bonus. Uh, which are all clear, which are really nice. I've actually got this one at home. It comes with a really sweet booklet as well, which explains a lot of the processes he used to make these weird sounds. Um, it's a lot of breakbeat jungle type sounds. He plays bass over the top of them. He's pretty proficient on the bass. And um, yeah, it's out there, but it's a really cool experimentation. Sounds wicked. Yeah. And last but not least, pop culture slip mats. What? So... Pop culture slip mats? 
We Will, are... tell me, how can I get my hands on one of those? How can I buy one of these, Will? Well, you don't have to, Josh, that's the, the great mat? part. <laughs> What's the slip mat, Will? There's so many questions. Slip mat goes... Answer the questions, Will! <laughs> Will, so, how, much, how much do they cost, Will? Zero dollars, Josh, and I'll explain that in a moment. First Luke's question, because that's the most recent one. <laughs> um, Slipback goes under your record, in between the platter and the record on your turntable to make sure that that record sits on there but doesn't get scratched up by the platter um, so it can play and spin nicely. Um, to obtain one of these slip mats, all you have to do is place an order for vinyl records. So for every order we get and we process, we'll put one in that order with the records shipped out to you at no extra charge. And um, yeah, they're pretty sweet. They're really high quality. They're Nice and thick, really nice felt design. Um, classic Buck Culture logo on the front. If you've got some clear records, chuck them on it. If you ever see Bigfoot. If you ever see him through the record, oh my gosh. But yeah, <laughs> place an order today. Uh, well, yeah, you can watch they them. also be used as a mouse pad? They can. They can. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Right. Good, we had some questions and comments about that. You can use it for a frisbee. Um, uh, uh, um, Placemat, uh, yeah. so many chest <laughs> warmer in the winter. What? Put it on the you could definitely do that. It's felt. It would be nice and cozy. Um, yeah. But definitely buy a record. You're likely to have a record player, so and probably going to go to use. <laughs> Get rid of that boring black slip mat you got at home. Replace it with a nice. Not out of there. And we'll, we'll, we'll but not like this one. This is a good one. This is the one you want. We'll, we'll sign Gotta pick that one up. <laughs> I'll sign some of them. Yeah, we'll, we'll sign them. Alright, we'll get a silver <laughs> sharpie. I'll go out to the warehouse and I'll pick out a handful. Chuck a signature on them. Handsome Will. Just Would yet. that be like the chase version of those slip mats if they're signed by Handsome Will? I handsome like world? that. Okay. Um, yeah. we can just write in if you want Will to sign your slip mat, free slip mat with your order. Because Will's processing the orders anyway, so he'll see it. <laughs> your workload just I, gets I so much bigger. Desk, but he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> he'll do it. It's fine. We're we'll gonna make, make it happen. Um, <laughs> also, well, thank it. you, Will. This is a massive stack of records. Yeah. Come um, But yeah, no, thanks for having me, guys. Have a great weekend, everybody. If you're in Australia, you've got the Labor Day weekend to look forward to. So oh, enjoy an extra day yeah. off. Um, I know I will be. But Long yeah, weekend. Catch you next Long week, everybody. Weekend. See you, Will. Thanks, thanks Will. Enjoy the festival. Now, we were talking about cake. <laughs> we were talking about cake. Um, Snow White cake, specifically, which I still think would be blueberries and or gooseberries. I, mean, I would imagine it's going to be a white cake. cake. It's going to be bubblegum, clearly, and not a Snow White That's, that's bubblegum. <laughs> I think it's bubblegum. The apple. It definitely be apple. Oh, uh, yeah, apple. Yeah, I mean, there's an apple zipper charm <laughs> on there, so it, it makes sense. Like, Whatever. this one is more likely to be, like, um, strawberry flavoured or, like, something real. I don't know what cakes you guys have had, but your perceptions of colour, colour and flavour have a direct correlation. Not necessarily. No, yeah, food dye is often flavourless. No, it's not. Yes, it yes, is. It is. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, I've had bubblegum cake before, it looked exactly like that. You had bubblegum cake, yeah. we've had bubblegum flavouring in, but food colouring, no flavour. It was that colour and tasted like bubblegum. Alright, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Snow White cake accessory set and it is delicious looking and I still think there's going to be more of these coming up in Disney Princess style. So you can get those. I hope um, so. I like them. Yeah, I think they're really cool, and it's a really um, unique shape that they haven't actually done before, to my knowledge. So really cool and really unique. And speaking of unique, is it a practical bag though? <laughs> it is a practical bag. Like, um, can you can you just put it over your shoulder and then zip it over? It's oh, really see. great if you want to take some cake. <laughs> yeah, it's true. perfect. <laughs> it's actually true. You can it's perfect it for a slice of cake. <laughs> it's it's got some nice slice. Or if you've there. got some leftover pizza and you want to take it for lunch. Like oh, a stack of them. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, pizza delivery driver, car broken oh. down, can't carry the box, but you can layer the slices up. Oh. You get a bunch of these bags. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pizza slice cake. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Oh, I've seen this. Now we're talking. <laughs> Anyway, I know what I'm ordering for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> gluten free? Yeah, make sure it's gluten free. I will, Josh, thank you. Okay, so speaking of unique shapes, we oh. have this really cool double heart backpack. Um, so this is a collaboration with, um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name correctly, but she's a Brazilian artist. She goes by, well, the brand is called Valfrit. If that's right, I don't know. Um, but this features one of her characters called Lucy, just stylized as this like amazing, gorgeous pinup. Or has she got some kind of cocks? 
No, she's got tattoos <laughs> all over it. <laughs> um, and there's a matching wallet as well. And it's really cool because it's got like pink um, hardware on it. So it's a little bit different. And it's also made of um, shiny PVC. Um, so it's really reflecty and it's just a really cool shape and I'm hoping they're going to do more. I like shape the double like heart this. aspect. Like, yeah. Kind of like a lacing around the, the front heart. I think that's cool. Yeah. I really like the way they've done that as well. And it looks really good on as well. We took this out the other day. I saw the photos and I'm just like, that just looks really cute yeah. on. It's a hip hop. Yeah. It is a hip hop. <laughs> okay. And the last we've got from Lounge Fly this week is a Harry Potter triple pocket triple trilogy set. <laughs> um, so this celebrates the first three movies, so Philosopher's Stone, um, Chamber of Secrets, and The Prisoner of Azkaban. Prisoner of Azkaban is arguably the only good Harry Potter movie. Not to be confused with Star Wars. Arguably. <laughs> you were just going to light the comment section on fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, it features all three movies. It's just got um, a collage of all different things from each movie. And I, what I really like about it is that they've done it in like different colors and everything to represent each movie. And I really like the um, triple pocket aspect as well. So you've got the front pocket, which also has a franchise enamel zipper charm, which is pretty cool. And then you've got another bigger pocket here and then your big main compartment at the back. I just think it looks really cool. Um, so hopefully they'll do more like that. And on the backs of these as well, you've got the um, Hogwarts um, crest as well, which is really cool. But yeah, that's all I've got from lunch fly. It's basically just a rip off <clears throat> of Star Wars. Uh, yeah, I don't think you watched them. Have <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, you haven't watched Harry Potter or you haven't watched Star Wars? The same thing. Little boy comes and finds out he's got some powers. And he the gets force a magic stick. And the wand gets a magic stick. Has ah. to defeat a bad guy. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah you're, you're not wrong. Mm. You're not wrong. No, it's I know. a fair opinion. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know I'm not wrong. Nice. Um, awesome. So that's it from Lounge Flight. Uh, now we've got a huge amount of uh, collectibles that we're, we're going to show you. May as well start here on some of the uh, the larger pieces. Um, from Prime One Studio, we have an awesome new piece from the Bumblebee film. This is, of course, Bumblebee. Now he's, um, from what people have told me, a transformer. Now I haven't seen this film, <laughs> but um, he seems to resemble a Volkswagen Beetle. And um, no, he's a Mustang. Is he? In the Transformers movies, he's is, a mustache. Is he? Doesn't really look like it. That's definitely is this from the comics. I don't know, Josh. I didn't research That's this. That's definitely a, a beetle. That's a beetle. That's a chassis of a beetle. The front, the hood of it. I'm have you seen a mustache? Yeah. Yeah, I have. Is Did it, it look like that? Oh no, what one is this from? What movie is <laughs> this from? I think the you Bumblebee got... movie. Do you mean Transformers? I mean Transformers <laughs> Bumblebee. Alright, I haven't seen Transformers <laughs> Bumblebee, I've seen Transformers, and in that movie starts off as like a beat up old car and then he turns into Yeah, but a in the original series, he's a, a beetle, he's a bug. That's why his name's Bumblebee. I think we'll agree to this. A bit. beat up old car and then he's a, he's a beat up old Mustang and he turns into a new Mustang. <laughs> Anyway, this is an incredible piece. Brandon is going to tell you the price because I don't know it, but it's very intricate. A lot of um, a lot of detailed pieces here. Um, Prime One do an incredible. They have an incredible line of um, of Transformers statues that are very detailed, very heavy, um, and definitely will stand out in any Transformers collection. Uh, it doesn't really get any bigger than this. Paul Robert was a Camaro. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he comes with two interchangeable heads. You've got his unsettling bee-like appearance, or more of his traditional um, smiley face, Volkswagen look. Smiley look. Is he smiling? Yeah, he's smiling. I don't know. <laughs> really can't tell. Um, from Infinite Statue, I'm very excited about this statue. Um, this is, uh, of course, a Bella Lugosi's Dracula, the classic Universal Monsters picture. It's an incredible piece. Uh, diorama view of Dracula descending the stairs with uh, with uh, a, a woman draped in his arms and he's just had a little, uh, little snacky snack. Da -da -da. <laughs> little snick, snick snack on the neck. Um, anyway, what I, what Sandy was setting this up for, definitely not Josh, because Josh doesn't actually help. Um, I've set that up. <laughs> we noticed that both Bumblebee and Dracula are in the exact same pose. Um, and Iron Man. <laughs> yeah, well we put Iron Man like that, but uh, foot up, <laughs> arm out, other arm, 
It's all perfect. It's the exact same thing. So well done, Prime One Studio <laughs> and Statue for coordinating this arrival for and us. Well done, Josh, for noticing yeah, it when you were setting up the Actually, table. thank you, Josh. Is that Darkwing Duck? Yeah, He's that also doing anything. Duck. So now, yeah, from Hot Toys, <laughs> when I was setting up the table, table Josh, I saw Josh, that and Josh, I was like, oh, they'll put them all on the same Such thing. a liar. Uh, who would you believe? Me, Nice Josh, or Pastel Andy? Yeah, Pastel Andy and Sandy. We're on, both on here last week. Sandy's, Sandy's not even here today. <laughs> anyway, um, from uh, the interest actually, that's incredible news. I'm, I'm really big fan of it. Um, definitely check it out. If you're looking for some smaller scale Dracula pieces, I'm Studios are doing a line, and they've just gone for pre-order with one as well, so you can definitely grab one of those if you want something a bit smaller. Um, that is one six scale, and that's an incredible piece. From Hot Toys, we've just got um, Neon Tech Iron Man. So this is from... Um, Iron Man 2. It's on the box. I guess it's in... Is it? Yeah, when I was setting it up, it was on the box. Infinity. Um, no, I'm not too. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah. Pretty sure it's Infinity War or Endgame. I can't remember what. They but anyway, this uh, this is Neon Tech. He's black and orange, and I like orange things, so I think it's pretty cool. Um, and uh, he's got all these things from one of the movies. I'm not too. Yeah, I'm not too. Um, <laughs> but uh, as you can see, he's also chosen to. In that really cool pose that the others have, as has Negaduck. And Negaduck is, of course, from Darkwing Duck. And uh, this is a really great piece. This is from Beast Kingdom. Um, this is, uh, yeah. Um, Comes with so many accessories. So many accessories. We laid them all. There's so many hands, so many replacement eyes, replacement beaks. He's got a chainsaw, he's got a little detonator. Sorry. Look, you're giggling too much today. He's throwing me off the game. <laughs> Um, his comments must be hilarious. Um, but he's got bombs, uh, he's really well articulated, he comes on this display stand. Uh, he's, my favourite thing I like is normally when you get action figures, right, and they give a character a hat, they will make it so the top of the head comes off so that the hat can sit on it properly. But they've actually sculpted this perfectly and sculpted the hat so that you can put it on Negaduck, um, and have it off Negaduck, and still have it nicely sculpted piece and I think that's a nice detail so well done Beast Kingdom for doing that but yeah incredible piece heaps of accessories heaps of interchangeable pieces and uh nice mixed media fabric cloth fabric clothing so really cool really really cool yeah you're very excited about the statue we're going from Beast Kingdom aren't you? oh man I was enthralled by that <laughs> Dumbo statue it is incredible look at it it's so cute I just love it so much and it comes um with a plaque on it as well which is pretty special and it also comes with... A certificate of authenticity? Uh, yeah, a super special little certificate there to make it just feel all the more wondrous. Um, but I really like um, Beast Kingdom's larger scale stuff. Like, small scale stuff like this is really amazing too. But to see it blown up is just, just, and just actually appreciated. And very affordable for the size and scale of that item. I think Brandon's going to throw a little link on a little Better? He does. So you don't have to have the feather in there, but personally I would. It's a magic feather. Fly. Exactly. He needs his feather, so I, I can just stay. <laughs> <laughs> um, incredible beast. Now Beast King, I'm really liking what they're doing at the moment. Used to be they largely did nothing but egg attacks. And whilst egg attacks are cool, I never really got into them. But I'm get, really getting into their new line of, um, of, uh, of, of Disney statues. I think it's really great. We've got a huge amount That's of the pre-order. That's Mastercraft or something like that? Yeah, the, the range that they're doing, which is just, it's just really neat. Um, so I, I really like it. And uh, being said, we've got a lot of small scale stuff as well, um, which yeah. we might touch on. Like we've got Dumbo as a clown here. And he, what's really cool is his hat is magnetic. I think that's Again, a really cool little detail. King. Know how to put a hat on a figure. <laughs> It oh, is consistent, yeah. as shown here. And then we've got Dumbo with um, his ears tied up, so he doesn't trip on them. I think that one's adorable. Looks like he's wearing a little bandana or something. Um, and we've got some stitch ones as well. Which oh man, are those pork ones look good so as well. I thought the same thing. Those pork ones look You really skipped lunch, didn't you, Josh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Really good. And he looks really stoked about it too, but I'd yeah. be pretty stoked if I had them also. So would I. And we've also got... Oh, oh they come out? Oh, no. They come they out, do. Josh. Don't, they get, are loose. don't get too excited. They are loose, and so is the drink on this one. Oh, so I'm just going to carefully... So he comes with a little uh, a bubble, bubble tea, bubble so, tea so drink there. going to be able to drink all that. He's going to be able to finish that. It's pretty big. That's like Andy when he has a can of Pepsi. He's going to eat 
He's gonna need a helmet mantle so like he helped me out finish my big can of Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure Stitch has a pretty big appetite though. I seem to remember that from the film. I don't know. I could be just pulling that out of nowhere. This can of Pepsi's too big. I can't drink it. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, it's more likely that Josh is making whatever he's saying up. Not that you're no. remembering wrong. <laughs> Um, we also have um, a Nightmare Before Christmas piece, which I love. Like, Beast Kingdom, I think, are really, really great with all their details on such a small scale. D stage. Um, yeah. So, little dioramas, and they're really, really cool. Like, there's so much this stuff on here. They're very just cool. jam packed. So, we've got the Lion in. King. Um, we've got Timon, Pumba, Nala, and Simba. And, and, a bunch of little bugs. Um, Matata. <laughs> that one's definitely my favorite. I love the Lion King. It's so uh, cool. Really cool. Um, they're all relatively in the same scale, uh, but yeah, they that would look awesome. Uh, they're I think they're kind of like a nice alternative to like a, a snow globe or something. Enough of a diorama piece, but just a good little shelf display. Yeah, it's a good space saver as well. Like I would love to see these bigger and more blown up, but it's really good if you wanted to get like a bunch if of you them and you don't have a lot of kids. space. Like yeah. I know I'm out of space. So I can get that, but I can definitely <laughs> squeeze a couple of these in. Here's a storage unit. Yeah. I do. Um, uh, also from Beast Kingdom, and also as part of the uh, Mastercraft line, we have um, the Alien. Um, and this is really great because you can actually take Alien out of the spaceship. Uh, so you've got um, a one-to-one -one scale Alien statue, um, which is really cool. And you can put him into his little spaceship there, Pizza Planet spaceship. Um, which has pepperoni and mushrooms all over it, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and uh, it's just like a little ride that you would ride at Pizza Planet. Yeah. Yeah. I always um, wanted to go to Pizza Planet. When yeah. I was it seemed like the greatest right thing of all time. I like really it. Had um, space stuff, had pizza, had... Um, you know what it would smell like as well? It would have that like bowling alley smell. It would certainly have bowling, yeah. sticky carpet. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Yeah. Was it all you can eat? What I didn't understand about it was such a, a high class establishment, right? Oh, there's a lot of cool stuff that they've invested in, but what they didn't invest in was a new delivery truck because the thing in the movie is yeah. beats to crap. Like, it, it is just It is bad. <laughs> maybe um, he was a contractor. Maybe he was Josh. Maybe he was, we'll never know. Um, because it's, it's a movie. <laughs> Hey Andy, let's uh, let's talk about my favourites. Let's talk about Super <laughs> Seven. I've been I've been waiting <laughs> so long for the Super Seven stuff to arrive. I've even got a pre-order in for this uh, Linus from Peanuts. Um, I've got the full set actually. Um, Stop but... lying to people. I'm not... I don't even have the full set. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what you're getting at. No, I do have the first two Snoopies, I have Charlie Brown, and I'm going to pick up Linus, because this is incredible. Okay, um, it's not about you, it's all about right. the product. It is about the product, but I'm very into this product, so let me let me tell all you fine folks at home about it. Well, I can tell it. them about it. Yeah, I don't think you can, Josh. I can. Because Linus is from thought he had leukemia. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I knew one of them had leukemia, and one of them did have leukemia. That was a thing. Anyway, um, for Super 7, this is the super size Linus figure. As I said, they've done a couple versions of um, Snoopy. They've done Charlie Brown. They've also done Franklin. Um, and uh, Linus is the, uh, is the latest release in this series. And uh, 16 inches tall. Uh, it's an incredible piece. It's articulated in the arms um, and the head, I believe. Um, but it is sculpted very nicely. Um, little strings of hair that come out there, which is um, really nice detail. Sculpted nose, sculpted uh, uh, eyes, and uh, yeah, really, really great piece. It comes with the Linus' blanket, and uh, really, really great packaging as well. Um, also from Super 7, we've got some new Ultimates that arrived. We've been waiting for these to come in for ages now. Ultimates are probably the best 7-inch scale figures being made. Now, some of you at home will be like, nah, neck is the best, and I say, hooey to that. Uh, this is this is really the great stuff. So let me let me take a little look at the, the Ninja Turtles ones that have just come in. Every one of these figures comes with a slipcase packaging that has um, uh, spot varnish treatment and uh, really really just detailed work. This is Metalhead. This is from Team NT uh, Wave Three of uh, the Ninja Turtles. So we've got um, Metalhead. Really wonderful paint work there. Metallic detailing. We've got. Um, Everyone needs like the brick cutaway stuff and, on the... And it's, it allows you to see it from multiple angles, and uh, 
really, there's very little reason to want to actually take this out of the packaging mm. um, because it, it displays it so nicely. Again, spot uh, varnish treatment all over the um, all over the packaging as well. So they really made a great display um, piece. Um, we also we're not even up to coding yet, Josh. We got uh, oh, hot spots and egg coming. <laughs> we do. Uh, so. Can you show people the slipcase on that? Yeah, it's like a leather slipcase. It's like a little leather detailing, which I wanted to point out, which is really nice, and um, kind of uh, uh, gold foil treatment on that same, as well. Same material as his wristbands. Uh, also in wave three, so it'll be of Rocksteady, and we have Michelangelo, of course. Uh, and my favorite thing about this turtle series is that they've actually color coordinated, so you know who the good guys are and who the bad guys are. The bad guys have a purple slipcase with a blue box, and good guys have green on green. Oh, like we're gonna get a close up of that pizza box. Look at the pizza, and then look at the cheese on the top of the box. Is it real melted? That, yeah, it's melted on oh, top man. of the box. That's Luke. You will like. That's You'll love the cheese. Yeah, that's yeah exactly. so good. Uh, we also got Andre the Giant uh, from his Japanese uh, stint at wrestling. Um, which is really great. He's got his robes, got a can of beer, uh, a couple of interchangeable heads, and really great packaging where the, the wrestling robes are actually draped across. And uh, music fans, uh, you can pick up uh, King Diamond um, from his Merciful Fate era. Uh, Make up in interchangeable pieces, a bunch of accessories. Um, so if you're into Danish heavy metal music, this is. Uh, it's a piece to get. Eddie, let's talk about some of the reaction figures as well before we move on. May as well start um, with the. The, the biggest and best of this. We've been waiting a couple of years for this to actually arrive. And now let me let me point out, Super Seven. It's taken a long time to actually get here. We've had countless, countless delays with getting freight out of the US at the moment. But we've finally landed our first delivery in six months, and we're very excited to. We've got hundreds of things to show you, so we're going to spread it out across a couple of these lives. But um, the Robocop um, ED versus Mr. Kinney. This is great. The bullet holes in him actually go all the way through the figure. They've actually cool. sculpted it, which is a great detail. This is a great set. Uh, also Probably the most the iconic moment from the film, it's, surely. It is. We also have some super cool um, glow-in-the-dark Robocop figures. We've got the Toxic Waste Dog. Then we have two Robocops. One of them has bullet holes, but it's also cool because the packaging die, also has die bullet die holes. Bullet holes. So look, Blake, show Andy through the bullet holes. Okay. I don't know if he's... Waving bit. Uh, Can you do it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's that level of detail of Super 7 according to their figures. It's so good. Packaging is as important as the actual figure because. But speaking of the packaging, the we've got the Ren Snippy one. stuff. The oh Ren Snippy, this stuff's, this stuff's really cool. So we've got Ren with a fire hydrant there. Uh, we've got Stimpy. Um, I believe that's a pet. Oh. Uh, I think it's one? a bag of chips. Bag of chips. Um, but we also have powdered toast man as well um, with some moldy toast and a kitten and a kitten not that exciting <laughs> um, Josh only likes dogs uh, Ren and is selling really quick so if you want some Ren and Stiffy stuff jump online now definitely add a tea collection they're all $29.99 each this one's a little bit more expensive because it is for a deluxe set um, and all the ultimates are $100 each uh, so you definitely want to check those out um, excellent work, also man. from Super 7 we have some Super Cyborgs now Super Cyborgs are a great line of toy they are uh, Super they're, they're robots, but they actually show you, they have a chest plate, plate that comes off and actually shows you the inner workings of uh, famous robots. We have Cobra Bat, we've got the, uh, the invisible version here, so it really just highlights the centerpiece um, of uh, this core processor. Um, it's 11 inches tall, they're all 11 inches tall, they're a really cool line, it's a real nice throwback to kind of some classic Japanese toys. Um, we also have full colour Cobra Bat as well, um, which I think is really neat also. Uh, we've got a huge amount of Transformers in these that have just come in. Uh, we've got Megatron um, in his purple grid uh, view. So this one was a good get from um, from Super 7. They contacted, contacted us and said they had some stock of sold out line. So we've picked that one up from them. Um, so definitely jump online and grab that. They're all $130. We've also got Megatron and I think this is the full color, is invisible. What's, what's going on with that one? Invisible. It's, it's the clear version. And we've got Sound Blaster as well, this black um, attire. So that is a black version of um, Soundwave. Um, so that's that's a really cool. And uh, Power Rangers fans, Megatron, uh, Megazord, sorry, two different versions of that. Uh, this one's really cool because you can actually see in the inner workings the um, Transforms in the chest. I know they normally sit in the head, but they've kind Power of adjusted it. The, sorry, Power the Rangers, Power Rangers um, in the chest rather than the head to kind of highlight kind of the inner workings. And they all have the chest place that you can put on top to just kind of close them up 
We've got a clear version and the full colour of those. So that's really, really cool. Now Josh, we've also got some new arrivals from Hasbro, don't we? We do have some new arrivals from Hasbro. We've got the What If, the Hydra Stomper as part of the um, Marvel Legends lines. Um, I think it's Iron Man, but I'm not sure because I haven't seen What If. Bianca, help me out, please. It's, um, <laughs> it's, uh, essentially Steve Rogers. In, That's Steve in Rogers? Suit in World War II. So Steve Rogers, Iron Man, and What If, who would have thought? Um, we also have some Transformers, Takama Tomy, um, figures as well. So we have the War for Cybertron 2-pack. I don't know who that is. Who is that? Earther? Earthrise? Cybertron villains? Um, this is um, Transformer figures. We've got Wings, Wingspan and Decepticon Pounce. Um, and they're a nice little teal colorway. Definitely recommend grabbing those. Um, we also have uh, Jolt. Yep, yeah, Jolt in the Takara Tomy collection, which is really cool. Um, as well as Optimus Prime and the Masterpiece little, movies. Little Baby Shockwave from uh, Transformers Bumblebee, Ooh. which is cool. And of course, the Masterpiece line. Which, uh, these are the is, best because these transform. And they've got really yeah. great, all, all of those do as well, but um, that's got really great uh, kind of finish paintings. It's kind of like the premium version of, um, these of the series. These so are cool. So you got, got some die cast bits on it? I think they're just more metallic paint work and a bit yeah. more. Um, yeah, I think these are the made in Japan ones where others aren't yeah. as um, kind of can, held in such high esteem. Yep. So. Um, we also have, um, in the Marvel line, we've got Tigra. This is part of the retro collection. So, um, I'll Hasbro do a three and three quarter line of this uh, retro series. They also do the six inch, it's part of the six inch line. So you got a nice, big, uh, very solid, very thick card back, um, that would be very difficult to bend. Um, and we've got Tigra, uh, the Feline Fury. And she's got an inter interchangeable head, a couple interchangeable hands, and a huge amount of articulation, um, which is cool. Um, she's wearing the cat's head amulet. I don't know anything about Tigra. Um, this is a cool new arrival from Hasbro. Uh, this is the Ghostbusters um, Ecto one. It's a really cool piece. I don't know what scale this is in, but it's pretty good. It's got a swing out seat. It's 124, right? Yeah, yeah, probably. See, I know stuff. You know your things. I know my things. Uh, it's got doors that shut. Uh, this opens and spins. I don't know if Sandy did this, um, but doors do shut. Um, if you put batteries in it, you can make the lights go. Uh, and it's just a really nice scale piece. It's only $100, really great price point for um, it's only 100 bucks. Pretty sure it's only 100 bucks. Brandon, correct me if I'm wrong, please. But, um, 100 bucks? No, you're right. Yeah. That's right. Um, Brandon's already in there. You don't need to tell Brandon what to do. Yeah, yeah, no, no. But, uh, He's already in there. All right, John. Stop Polly. pushing the Sandy things up. Sandy's not even here today. Oh, Sandy definitely is here. Yeah. Um, so this is, yeah, really great price, really great toy, and I definitely recommend adding this to your collection. Um, I don't think you can get a better looking Ecto-1 for this price. Wait, can I have a closer look? You certainly can. <laughs> now let's film Luke having a look. Closer look, please. Luke Farley. This is um, all these glamour shots of Luke playing. Oh. Yeah, no, this is cool, really cool. Like even like the details on the paintwork are really awesome. Like look at all this like weathering. I don't know whether you can see that because of the lighting there, and like all the cracks through the logo. Like it's aged, rust, even like the like the burn in from the front there. That's really cool. I can't believe that's only a hundred bucks. You want to get on that. You if you're in a Ghostbusters, get on that. Luke, you better believe oh, it. I'm getting on that right now. Um, one last thing to talk about, I think. I think we've hit everything else. Um, we've got, uh, you got to remember Tamagotchis? I do. Um, they were like Digimon, but they didn't battle. Um, I could but, keep it alive. Yeah, you couldn't. <laughs> you really couldn't. Okay, this is R2-D2, it's Tamagotchi. It's officially licensed from Bandai. Uh, you pull the tab, Tamagotchi's alive. You feed it when it wants to be fed. You overfeed it, it dies. You don't feed it, it dies. For some reason, it always just dies. Uh, but it's a droid, and I hope R2-D2 doesn't die because he's in literally all the Star Wars he, things. He so oil. canon oil would on suggest him. that he doesn't. Um, but definitely check out two different colorways to grab them. Wait, the, the, the Tamagotchi looks like R2. And then R2's on the, the How screen. How smell of this? <laughs> Have a smell of it. Stop sniffing things. <laughs> um, 
So, uh, without further ado, we may as well get stuck into some prizes. Um, prize time. It's, it's Luke's time to shine. Prize time. Prize time. Prize time. What are we Both doing five. first? Well, let's do the uh, the speech <laughs> on the, the people move apart. Luke, is that a new t shirt? <laughs> is it? No. Why? I've never seen you wear that t shirt. You've never seen me wear a plain black t shirt. Why are you You're like this? Sister. Why are you oh, like this? Oh, gosh. Gosh. Terrible just, just, just. Um, anyway, let's give a spin for the Stitch on People Mover. <laughs> oh. Alright. New pen this week, folks. Pretty exciting. It's, it's really narrow. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Precise. Teast King! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Close <laughs> You just hung on there, Tease. Well done. Uh, please send us a private message on Facebook with your name, your postal information, and your email address, and we'll get a uh, little stitchy boy moving. Uh, people moving your way. Uh, next <laughs> prize is, of course, the Blue's Clues cosplay backpack from Loungefly. Uh, let's see who's going to win this one. Oh, I wasn't happy with that skin story. Or transport, or wherever you're watching this from. <laughs> Oh, that's a oh, bit cheeky. Geez, this is a bit cheeky. We never, we never, we never reward someone twice and one episode. That was a good spin. Yeah, that was much better. That like redeemed the other spin. Come on, you feel a bit this way, don't you? Zachary Chua, congratulations! Uh, please send us a private message on Facebook with your name, your personal information, and your email address, and we'll get that sent out first thing. Uh, and I guess now we're going to pick another prize. What are we going to do, folks? What are we going to do? Maybe, maybe, just maybe, we'll give away our other pop culture exclusive, The Moira uh, with Crow. I feel like that is definitely something that people want. So mm -hmm. let's give it a spin, shall we, Luke? William Pitt, congratulations! You won Moira Rose uh, Funko exclusive item. So please just send us a private message on Facebook, name, postal information, email address is all we need to get that moving your way. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. This has been another week in review here at Pop Culture. Uh, I've been Andy, Josh, Bianca, Luke, and of course Blake behind the camera. Um, we'll catch you next week for another exciting episode uh, of a week in review. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, have a good long weekend. We'll, uh, we'll catch you on the flip side, folks.